So we had gotten to page Tav Kuf Laman Gimel. Now we're going through this a second time, and we also have some notes at the bottom. We'll try to get to a deeper understanding. The last time we talked about the Machlech is between basically the Ramban and the Rambam in regards to the seventh millennium. So uh, now we're going to, there's a little bit more that was left at the bottom of the page. I'd like to, this is on number Kof Tess, and I'd like to read down to enough Kof Tess for the sake of for your permission to uh, try to get the, the flow going again. It starts up and says, Ki, uh, maguf, whether or not the Buguf is going to remain in the seventh millennium. So nobody dis, nobody argues with the fact that the uh, seventh millennia is going to be a time of harum. So I don't think anybody's arguing about that. What they're arguing about is where we're going to be or where our bodies will be. And there's a lot of different different things. If you have a tachias amazing, uh, I'd not, you know, so you have a whole big deal going on. Amnam af shenis bayar the das of rishonim. So now that we've explained the das of rishonim, shah olam agad for yecharu ke pashut of elaf ashvi. That the simple explanation is that the world is this world where olam yisir will seek to exist. In kol zechad lo yizbato lo olam bebitzi is the gamri, but even so, it won't be completely and totally destroyed. Because there will still be tzaddikim. So that was this is the idea. Uh, if we're all Gilgulim and we're all really parts and different combinations of Gilgulim, as you see in Shar Gilgulim, uh, then the uh, the the tzaddikim, the neshamas of these, I have to be some kind of a composite uh, of uh, little sparks or bit, bit, bits and pieces of everybody came before. It's hard to understand. And they will be there in their bodies. And that begins us that Machloikas with the Rambam. Uh, just look at the last lines here uh, in the previous parak. We're actually at the bottom parak on this lower column. Let me see if I can get it down lower so it can, it's pretty low so it can be seen more easily. Uh, so, okay, so he says he had said in the middle of the second paragraph in the black print, he says, of the Rambam, King Yigzah of the Rambam, Zelashona, Misa al Mashiach al Dora. So he said that it's apparently that the Mashiach and his entire generation will die, they will do, their physical bodies will disappear. But they, and then there, what will happen? I use the word nefesh. So the nefesh is the part that enlivens the body. So he said that part, katova olam haba, will be in the best, most imaginable, unimaginable place of goodness in the next world. So that particular state that he says is that there will be no bodies anymore. But that only will be left really is the nefesh, which is the, the part, the, the or that, that enlivens the body. So he says the people of his time you know, really didn't like this idea. They argued with him. So he said, So we look, you start looking at it now. And the Raman, according to the seventh millennia, Yehi and the Fashos below Gufi. That's what you're going to have. Ray Gam Abaharas Lachalon. So he's going to talk about it more later on. So now let's look at this place down here. Let me get a little lower, even if I can. So we'll look here and we see this word Amnam. Amnam Ha Lissa the Chayra. So we don't have this. What does he mean? Ki Nira the Laharamba. That first thing he says, he sees that the concept here is, is that the level of Shvi is going to be during the time of the days of the Mashiach. So that there will still be bodies then. The bodies of what? The bodies of Tzadikim, Betachias and Mesim, Adayim Yihiyokayomim, and like that. He says the Rambam says that in the next world, in the world beyond physicality, 
that particular phrase that they're going to be nefashos without bodies. This is going to be a long time after the seventh millennium. So what they just say, he said that that part, that part where there won't be bodies is going to be after the seventh millennium because during the seventh millennium you're going to have the key is amazing, and the Mashiach is going to be there. Sikh of the Raya Lakach, Shahare Kasev Haramba, the Rabbi says in Favisha Mishnayus, and over there it's in Hedrin, Perik, uh, Perik Halak, he says, uh, Perik Yud, Mishnah Aleph, he said, Bezel the Shono, the Hamashiach Yamos, the Mashiach will die. The Yimlok Beno Tachto, Uben Beno, and then there will be a what? His son will rule after him. And then his grandson, and so on. The Yarech Malchusa Yomim Rabim and his Malchusa, the Mashiach, will live for many days. Malchusa Yomim Rabim Ad Ma'od, many, many days. The Ve'el Latamur Shemakayim Ad Ma'od. Okay, I got such a fancy phone that when it rings, I can't always find where to answer. Okay, so let's go back where it said, Bezel the Shon of Adilam, Hamashiach, the Hamashiach, Yamos, where it says like that, and then his son will world, and then go on to the next generation, and there was a succeeding one after the other, Viarech Malchus, Yamim, Rabbi, Mamaod, be tremendously long time that his Malchus will continue. Now, what does that mean? Litamua, to wonder about Shatiskayim Malchuso Alafim Minashanim, I guess thousands from years. I, I guess that's a kind of an unusual language. Another thousands of years, why would it last like that? I can't. So he says, let me see, let me find it. One second. Something's going on in my computer. Okay. All right. Let me find it here. So he said, "Vezehu kahinach amorai begemora." Now the Gemara over there in the Sanhedrin says like this: "In Sanhedrin, Sanitas on the Dalav, Shemosa Mashiach Yehiyah Kama Olaf Ishanim." The times of me will be several thousand years. Rei Sham Kama Shitos Bezeh. So if you go over there, then you're going to see there's a lot of different opinions. Okay, but Shechain. So since that's the case, that you have this idea. That there was going to be some concept. Or here with it, we're saying that the seventh millennia is gone. Everything's gone. We looked at the at the Rambam uh, as if he's saying that all that's going to be left is the fashos in the next world. So he said, but over here, Shemosa Mashiach Yehia Kamal Afishanim Rei Sham Kamashita Bazem. The Kevin Shechain says, since we have this this idea that the Mashiach is going to reign for a long time, Miyom be as a Mashiach. Which is going to come the time of the Mashiach in the 6,000th year, which is where we are, at Bittel Malchus Mashiach until the time that there is no longer a Malchus Mashiach. It's going to be a long time after the finish of the seventh millennium. Now, he's that's making it sound like during the seventh millennia. I'll just read back his words again. Beyond Bias Mashiach of Ella Fashishi, that the, the Mashiach is going to come in the 6,000th year. 6,000th millennium. Uh, but then he said, uh, so then he said, Ad Bidl Malchus Mashiach. Yihya Har Biyamim Achar Aleph Hashvi. It's going to be a long time after the seventh millennium. But Aleph Hashvi, Yihya Baklau Yimosa Mashiach. And it'll also be part of the days of Mashiach. The Yin Yvachat Charov Shal Aleph Hashvi. So that, that, and he said, Yihya Bakufos Kaimim. This will be happening, that's true, but the bodies will still be there, Ganah. Hashem Akedas Yitzchak Ein Shem. Now that secret I don't know. So he said, but which is the concept of the Akedas Yitzchak that he's still bound. I don't know what that means. Vezeh Hashem Amrach Chazal. This is what the Rabbi said. Tzadikim Shaasid the Kodesh Baruch Hu. The Tzadikim that the Kodesh Baruch Hu is Lahachios Lahachiosam. Ain't the Chosim Laafram. They're never going to go back into dust again. In other words, never be buried again. That their bodies will stay alive. The Hind of Ela Veshvi. Gam the Rambam that in the seven thousand years that we serve, this is bigger machlokes. This is that Rambam then has to hold 
than in the other so, so, so be, uh, uh, that that's when this will be taking place. And Yushu Kushi is the Ram of Ramban Sham. Over there, there's a lot more to be said. He bit the Gufim, the Olam Haba, Yiyah Rakla Achar Yamim Rabim. Okay.